morning everybody um today obviously we're still in self-isolation so i am going to see if i can clean up my closet um because actually you know being at home all the time and having access to online shop um so easily um you end up like spending a little bit more money on like clothes and whatnot so i thought i should do a little bit of a clean out as well um and in australia we're coming to winter so um it's good to do a little bit of a donation run too um i'm very lucky that we have like donation um clothing donation box right underneath in our apartment building so i don't really have to like go far to like drop it off so um you know a lot of people might need some you know warmer clothes during the winter months so um, hopefully I can help a little bit by donating some of the clothes that I no longer am using so um, let's start our day this is how much time is it mm -hmm. it's 9 42 in the morning on Easter Sunday um, let's start our day before I start cleaning out my closet, I want to turn on my diffuser first because I think um, if I'm like cleaning with the diffuser on, it just feels, the room feels a lot fresher, it feels like a lot cleaner. Anyway, I don't know, I just like to diffuse my diffuser on all day, every day anyway. <laughs> um, so I have um, all my pretty loud sorry i have all my essential oils in sort of this little box i got the box from muji um so i mainly use um like the to uh, doTERRA's um essential oils i think the doTERRA's essential oils they like have really really good blend of essential oils that smells really really good um so that's why i like using theirs um and some of like these are like my favorite um blend the, the first one is the lavender peas and there is also the aroma touch Ooh, is it focusing maybe <laughs> and then the last one that i really like which is i think it's my first blend is balance um these three are like my favorite um because they smell the scent reminds me of like being in like a which is so nice and fancy which we can't do right now in self-isolation anyway so today um, I'm gonna be a bit boring because I've actually been diffusing the same two combination um, since isolation which is the um, the lavender peas uh, mixed with a little bit of peppermint um, I don't know I just really like the scent um, together but I feel like how boring like, I keep having the same but anyway um, I think this really sparked joy everybody so I do about like five drops of the lavender peas and then I do about three do drops of the peppermint and let's pretty much put the lid on oops and I think I would set it in so there's like a few options there's two hours five hours and ten hours which um, will give you like a bit I might do a little 10 hours because i think it will take me some time to clean up my closet um and what i love about these one is kind of like an ambient light as well for nighttime because you can change the oh, it smells so good um because you can change the light um and it like turn different lights and stuff um and it becomes blue it becomes green i see yeah. It's too green today because we're cleaning, you know, green is clean. I don't know. Should we do red or magenta? What is this color? Oh, blue. Blue is nice. Let's do blue. <laughs> Shall I show you me closet? Oh my god, this is going to be so... I'm going to censor some area because obviously there's like bras and things. <laughs> So I've got like, these are the situation with the closet right now. And I've got like a little 
this bit is like hanging, all the hanging stuff sort of there. So as you can see, I've got quite a lot of shirt. Oh my god, that's like the bra that, that I'm trying to hide. So I've got a lot of stuff in my closet. So um, I'm going to try to clean it up. Um, I think this is actually... This is actually pretty good because uh, if you are my my friends, you would know that this is probably the best my closet have ever looked because I had so much stuff before that um, the original um, what do you call it? the original wardrobe that comes in with the apartment actually like fell down because that's how much weight in terms of clothes I had I used to have um, so I've cleaned it all up thanks to like little Marie Kondo action um, but I feel like I still have quite a bit um, of stuff so I can definitely clean up more I can definitely cull more stuff from my closet which is what I'm going to do today um, I don't know where to start but let's start also before y'all kind of like how the hell do you spend so much money on clothes blah 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 okay so i should probably explain <laughs> that um ever since i left uni um my job is always in retail so right now i work in beauty retail but in the past i've always worked in fashion retail so um i don't know if you've, any of you've worked in fashion retail before when you work in fashion retail you work full time five days a week you have to wear different things all the time you have to keep up with the season and i used to work in fast fashion brand so um there's always new products that comes in like literally every single week um and that's why we always have to update our wardrobe and that's why i end up with so much clothes um which is kind of like really really bad but i'm glad that i left fast fashion retail and sort of move on to beauty retail because um, I noticed how like you know first of all consciously I wouldn't be able to continue um, doing what I'm doing because I know how much like fast fashion um, you know you watch enough documentaries you know you you know you have enough knowledge in terms of how bad fast fashion is um, you know for the environment and etc so um so i'm kind of glad that i've left that and i've also noticed that because i don't have to like continuously like my spending habits when it comes to buying clothes has changed as well because i used to like because it was so easy because you've got like stuff discount you've got allowances so you just keep buying products because it's just cheaper um but now that i've sort of no longer work in fashion i feel like oh like you I, I you just have to be a lot more careful with what you're buying um you're a lot more conscious in terms of like deciding what you want to buy so it's more about you know you look more um, into like the quality of the products you want something that would last you for a longer period of time um, So you don't mind spending a little bit more money, but you know, you kind of spend less um, And it's like more like slow fashion I should say and I tr always sort of try to also support like local fashion businesses so you're trying to find um, brands that are made locally that are um, and so it might cost a little bit more because it's made here in Australia but it also helps the small business to flourish better and so yeah so you just yeah now, I mean I'm just not that I'm like justifying why I have shit luck Ooh, I just swore on my channel um, why I have like shit tons of clothes but like first of all like it's like years and years of like accumulation um, but yeah so I think that's why I've adopted this new system where if I buy new clothes I have to donate the same amount like maybe more out so for example I recently purchased three um, new clothes so that means that I have to try to call out um, minimum of three but I always end up calling up more because um, I think it's better um, if I can donate things that I don't use and someone else can make better use of it why not um, so yeah so if you're wondering why I have so much clothes it's because I've worked in fashion retail for eight years of my career that's that's why um, 
but yeah so I've um, let's start reorganizing <laughs> And I start to build a buzz, but they the ones bugging ya. That's so why I don't really feel like staying. I don't really feel like playing. Quit fucking with the plans. A couple young kids, pull up kicks, not rich. Stacking money on a one way trip, yeah. I ain't really worried about nothing. All these people all around me always worry about something, yeah. Saying that should stay up in the books. And I start to build a buzz, but they the ones bugging ya. That's so why I don't really feel like staying. I don't really feel like playing. Quit fucking with the plans. A couple young kids, pull up kicks, not rich. Stacking money on a one Trip, yeah. Driving down south, first we're checking places out. All this lack of money got us planning different routes. Feet planning about to bounce. I ain't coming back when I'm out. Had enough of all the gray city crying from the clouds. Yeah, hey, they never raised me. Hey, the rain even when I was a baby. Got me stuck up in my room, went crazy. Throwing shade my way, can't sway me. Now they always asking all these questions. Testing on my section, I ain't showing no affection. Got me flexing till I think they got the message. It's a given. I ain't talking about my motivation. That's my business, no opinions. You ain't helping reinvent it. You should listen. Sorry that you missed it. Only reason why we on the move, they too close, need some distance. Getting elevated. Every weekend I be getting faded. Constant overthinking, only moment I evaded. organized um, with few of the summer clothes just stays in the bed like this little compartment here because I don't really need it so summer clothes sort of stays there jeans and work clothes jumpers so ready for winter weather um, necessities <laughs> my PJs and again few more like summer dresses and things that I don't need and these are all just the basics like t-shirts and stuff and I've got everything sort of just hang there which is like all the jackets and jumpers and whatnot and these are the ones that I'm throwing away whoops sorry I'm sure people will need bras so like few jumpers and things that I no longer use a few shirts as well that are quite old see I always end up throwing more <laughs> all right now that my wardrobe is nicely tidied up and ready for winter <laughs> or for the cold weather in general um, I am going to show you a few items of clothing that I purchased online during this self ISO um, which is the reason why I have to um, donate some clothing items because I purchased uh, some new ones um, usually how I I go about so I think it's trying to limit like impulse buy as much as I can so I tend to um, think of like an inspiration of what I want my like outfit to look in winter and I think it's just a habit from uh, working in fashion retail where you have to like trying to present a few looks to the customers in the change room so I have that mindset for my own wardrobe so um, I would uh, look at Pinterest Pinterest is normally like a really good um, source of inspiration for me for pretty much anything um, whether it's like interior decorations or fashion so um, so yeah so I would go to Pinterest and I would like find few looks that I like and then from that looks I'm trying to think okay what items of clothing that I'm missing in order to recreate some looks and stuff so um, that's how I like purchase or how I manage my purchases so I don't go on an impulse and buy like lots of things um so yeah so that's how I do it so hopefully um that helps if anyone wants to try to minimize their impulse spending when it comes to um clothing items um I think that's a good way to to do it so you just relook at what you have you know find inspiration look at what you already have from your inspiration and then only purchase clothing item that are um 
that you haven't got in order to recreate a like a whole lookbook that you want um, so uh, yeah so I think I'll just start with the one that I'm wearing um, so this is actually like a Nike hoodie and like and sweatpants so it's like a set. it's not a set but it's you can buy them together uh, I purchased them from ASOS so they're um, there's a lot of when I was browsing Pinterest there's a lot of people wearing like a matching sweat like hoodie sweats with like the pants and I found that look to be because overall I think my style is tend to be a bit more like minimalistic I tend to go for um, the classic look so more like like jeans and t-shirt and like you know so I, I'm not very girly in that sense I'm not very like colorful or or like too too floral unless I think I do own like a few summer dresses that are like quite more bohemian and quite floral but majority of my like fashion <laughs> or style items are tend to be like very minimalistic very mon monochromatic and very um, like classic as well so it's just more like you know your average t-shirt jeans and whatever but so I found the whole like matching outfits very appealing so I kind of like oh this is actually quite like fun so I noticed that I don't have like a matching <laughs> outfit so that's why I got the like Nike hoodie and the sweats at the same time um, and the next one Oh, they're all like I literally just chuck it on my bed because <laughs> I, have, I have no like no where to put it <laughs> the next two actually I got from style Nanda so um, one is an oversized hoodie like a zip up which is I think it will be really good to use as a layering piece so uh, obviously with Melbourne if you're not familiar with our weather we can have four seasons in one day like literally so even though it's winter like it could rain it could be like quite sunny and it could be really really windy and cold the like all happen in the one day so it's good to have something with like a zip pop so it's like a it'd be good layering piece so I just like the color I wanted the more like oatmeal color but it was sold out so I swap it to this sort of more a brick red color which is actually technically this is also kind of my kind of color so um, as you can tell from the lipstick <laughs> so yeah so I really like this one um, because it's also has like a fleece inside so it's very like warm as well uh, the next one that I got from Stylanda is actually just a, jum a jumper so it's like literally it's just an oversized like jumper um, so with Stylanda obviously all their clothing items are one size only so um, yeah so these ones actually oversized so it's nicely like it's very generous when it comes to size I decided to go for the um, lilac color because just want a little bit of color for winter because I noticed that majority of my winter clothing are navy blue or black or gray so I just decided to get a little bit of a nice pastel -y color um, which hopefully um, I think the lilac is not too crazy so because I've got more like navy and black and gray anyway so the lilac will go with it so yeah so this is that and the last item that I got is actually a puffer jacket, like a short one from Uniqlo. So it's the ultra light down jacket. Um, so it's the one that you can pretty much like squeeze into like a small bag. Um, but I got this in the color. Oh, I forgot the color. I forgot the name of the color, but it's more like a, like kind of like a light brown, like oatmeal kind of color because I feel that um, I already have like a black longer like puffer jacket so I wanted like a shorter one um, so I got this color instead um, and I think it will be really good because it's super light and it will be good for me to like when I walk to and from work so it will be a nice sort of extra layer um, I got a size up from my normal size because I wanted to be able to like layer it with more clothing item inside so yeah and it has like a little pocket on the inside and a little pocket on the outside and then you can actually minimize it to like a beautiful easy like 
traveling size ball as well <laughs> so yeah they have so many colors for this um, and I think it's really good because you can literally like suit it to what your wardrobes normally but my wardrobes are consist of like I said navy black and gray so I wanted to go with something neutral but not any of those three colors so hence I got this one yeah so I'm gonna show you guys like an actual montage is it a montage of like when I try all these clothing on for you so you can see what it looks like I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah Can you tell me why, can you tell me why I'm down, yeah No friends of mine, no friends of mine around, yeah Now I'm thinking now, now I'm thinking now Why the cut the June blues, yeah I wanna drown myself inside the juice, yeah You know I keep on running from the and I will see you on the next video so if you want to watch mainly beauty and skincare make sure to like subscribe and share and a new video will be on every Sunday for skincare and beauty and if you just curious about other things that I enjoy as well um, like a vlog or like a style or whatever it will come every Wednesday so anyway again thank you so much for watching I will see you in the next video bye bye Honest, you the penny, uh, pick a dollar like Chevy, uh, new age Machiavelli, uh, disagree, don't tell me, uh, now you in infinity, we 90